Hello everyone, welcome to Geospatial Tutorial. Today let's see how to analyze and assess a digital elevation model. How to download a digital elevation model at free of cost has already been explained in another video in the same tutorial. Today let's assess that digital elevation model. Let's open our map first and add the data that is downloaded. This is the digital elevation model that I have downloaded and I will add that to the screen. Let's take this I which is basically means identify to see the information contained in a pixel i have clicked on that and the information that you get is 640 640 basically means the elevation of that particular pixel meaning that the elevation of that particular location is 640 meters above mean sea level let's close this and see the assessment and analysis of a digital elevation model say you want to create contour passing through a specific pixel just select this option create contours from 3d analyst menu if you do not have it just right click here and select it from this list once you have selected click anywhere to create the contour let's remove this image from the view and you have the contours that you have just created but however they are in graphical format which cannot be used for any analysis purpose so primarily we need to convert these things into shape file so that we can use it for any analysis purpose or in some other software let's select both of them holding control button and go to drawing option here you have a, an option to convert graphics into feature click on that yes it is line graphics that you are looking to convert and from the data frame of course if you have in a lot of layers here and you want to specify a specific layer you can do it using here but i will take different because i am having only one layer here of course you can define the output feature class i'll keep it default and click ok it asks whether you want to add the shape file into the view i'll click yes now your shape file has been added to your view let's remove it and remove these two graphics that we have just created and let's see the shape file this is the shape file that you are looking for you can open the table to see the elevation here similarly you can create any number of contours in the view using digital elevation model now say you want to create the contour map for the entire image that is possible using arc toolbox select arc toolbox which is available here and go to 3d analyst tools double click on that you have an option called raster surface click on that you have an option for contour just click on that input raster is of course you are done you have specified that output can be kept like that or you can choose a different location and you can specify the control interval in terms of meters i'll keep the control interval as 20 meters you can specify even one meter i'll click ok all these optional things you can keep empty and click ok now your contour generation has just commenced now there you go your uh, contour map has just been created for the entire digital elevation model and displayed here on your screen you can just zoom in to have a closer look at the contours that has been generated these are the contours that has been generated from your digital elevation model now similarly you can select create an aspect map for the same raster 
and click OK. These are very pretty simple things. You can select all these things, hill shade map and slope map, etc. etc. Which I will not explain. You can just go through them and do it, which are pretty simple and straightforward. And now your aspect map has been added to your screen. Similarly, you can try out all these options. Now let's go back to 3D Analyst. Here you have a function called interpolate line. Select that and draw a line in your digital elevation model. This particular function gives you the elevation profile of your area along this line that is just drawn. Once you have drawn the line, click on graph. That is profile graph will give you the elevation profile of the line that you have just drawn. This is the elevation profile of the line that you have drawn. Let's close this and go back to another function called steepest path. Every pixel in an image will have eight neighboring pixels. So a water falling in a particular pixel will flow in one of these eight directions. The steepest path will indicate the steepest slope direction from the point of query. So we'll select a particular pixel over here as an example and we'll see the steepest direction from this pixel. Let's again click on the profile map, profile graph. Here you see this is the direction of steepest slope, steepest path. You can close this and you can select another line to see the difference in the profile. This is the profile graph from this particular point and this is the steepest direction. Now let's select the view shed that is the create a line of sight feature. Click on that and you can close this in the meantime and draw a line. You have just drawn a line. Say for example, your eye is here and what is that you can see along this line. Just click on the profile again and you will have a line of sight. Say your eye is here, so your eyesight goes like this. So whatever is below this point will not be visible. So these are the primary functions of uh, 3D Analyst. And let's go back to Digital Elevation Model and go to Properties. However, you can delete these two lines from the map for further analysis. Let's go to properties and select symbology. Here you can change the color of your digital elevation model. Say I select this color and this will give a better view of the digital elevation model. Similarly, you can go to classified option and you can change the range here which means to say basically that all the elevation ranges from 0 to 592 will be displayed in this color and 825 to 1200 will be displayed in this color. This is primarily to classify your digital elevation model into a certain set of classes of elevation. So let's see how does it look like. Now there you go. Now this is your digital elevation model and here is your legend. That is primarily about the analysis and assessing of a digital elevation model for the future use. You can definitely explore further more options in 3D analyst, spatial analyst, etc. etc. Thanks for watching.